Henrico County police say there is no longer a threat to J.R. Tucker High School after a student was arrested earlier for bringing a loaded gun to school. Our Shannon Lilly has the latest from police and how parents are reacting tonight. The day was normal. It's a normal day. My daughter went to school. Chantel Tyler is one of dozens of parents. Until 4.16 p.m. when I received an automated system call from the school that someone was there with a loaded gun at the school. To learn Friday afternoon of the disturbing incident that unfolded inside J.R. Tucker High School hours earlier. Henrico police say a student here brought a loaded gun to school. J.R. Tucker High School administrators and school resource officers receiving a tip Friday morning, then removing the boy from his classroom. We got information. We relayed that information to our school officials. They were acting upon it in the presence of the school resource officer to ensure safety. Lieutenant Matthew Pekka, spokesperson for Henrico Police, says it was amid that investigation that the teen ran from them. But he says they were able to take him safely into custody and school administrators able to find the handgun and ammunition in that student's belongings. The student now faces several charges, including possession of a firearm on school grounds and possession of marijuana, among others. He's now being held at the Henrico Rico Juvenile Detention Home. It's most important to commend the community members who stepped up and actually shared this information because really it's keeping the entire campus and our community safe. In a message sent out to families Friday afternoon, the J.R. Tucker principal informed parents of the morning's incident and said, quote, keeping an open line of communication with families is top priority for everyone here at J.R. Tucker, especially when it comes to matters of safety. With that in mind, I want to make you aware of a situation that took place today at our school. But Tyler, not later, you need to contact the parents immediately right away, believes it's too too little too late and says parents should have been told hours earlier. That's not fair to me. You know what I'm saying? If I'm sending my child to school, I need to know that my child is safe at all times and I want to know and, it, and I think it's our right to know as parents. Now in a statement, a Henrico school spokesperson says police were able to resolve the situation quickly and told school officials that there was no need to lock down. She says since instruction wasn't interrupted, the decision was made to contact families at the end of the day, but she says if they had been advice otherwise by police, then the principal would have contacted families immediately.